a very good morning thank you for joining in early in the morning and uh, sorry about my voice so as you see my topic uh, the study population yes the study population is printing press workers so uh, i chose this uh, study because it is very close to my heart personally uh, like uh, my father has a uh, my family has a business of printing and publishing so since childhood i was wondering that how these workers are working in such hazardous place so i always decided uh, when i grow up i will be uh, i will do a small research or something like that on uh, these people sorry for the interruption so going into introduction uh, i choose uh, uh, knowledge attitude and practice because as we know that the safety and the health of the um, worker has a positive impact on productivity and economic as well as social development so it is important to study their uh, work function so um, there are various hazards related to every step in the printing the steps include uh, the inking unit damping system printing unit and this is the very technical part of the printing so as we go into the hazards there are many hazards related to printing uh, such as chemical mechanical electrical physical uh, psychosocial hazards for example in chemical hazards there there is uh, printing inks they use the glue and adhesive uh, adhesive tapes they use in mechanical hazards they ca there can be the laceration and cut in injuries there could be fractures and in electrical injuries there could be a uh, big motorized vehicles or uh, the picture in the picture you see and in psychosocial hazards there could be uh, the uh, night shifts and work related stress so as i do research about it i found review of literature saying that the mean perception of the knowledge of safe workplace is 71% among workers and if we talk about india the study a cross sectional study in delhi pune nasik it says that the only 90% of the industry workers have perception that their workplace environment is hazardous that is a big number so the main of the, uh, the main aim of this study is to assess the level of knowledge and workplace safety hazards among printing press workers and their attitude and practices to prevent the same so uh, my objectives were uh, the primary objective obviously is related to aim uh, that is level of, uh, to assess the level of knowledge and to assess the level of attitude and practices they are doing my secondary aim was to find out the association between socio demographic characteristics and knowledge of the workplace safety hazards and to find out association between knowledge and their attitude and practices among the printing press workers so this is a research methodology uh, study design was a cross sectional study uh, sample size was 200 uh, the sampling method was convenient sampling and duration was uh, uh, four months excluding the analysis part uh, i chose this study setting in darya ganj uh, in central delhi because as i do did research it, i found that it is a uh, central hub of the uh, printing press where approximately 150 register small uh, firms are registered and 45 registered large scale firms are there where uh, near about uh, this number has changed now near about 3000 uh, press workers have uh, have been working uh, so my <coughs> Uh, i choose the subjects uh, which must be working at least one year in the printing industry in the same area uh, aged between 18 to 60 years after the statistical analysis <coughs> i found that the uh, i found that the um, knowledge about workplace safety and hazards is adequate knowledge is adequate in all the uh, uh, like it was about 91% but they do not have adequate attitude and practices regarding the same also showed that the monthly income is significantly associated with the basic and advanced knowledge uh, like who uh, who is earning more is um, uh, have uh, uh, basic and advanced knowledge is less similarly higher education has influenced the moderate knowledge 
also the study showed that the those who are earning more and have more experience of working in the same industry have highest rate of inadequate uh, uh, attitude and practice <clears throat> Uh, it is uh, it is because just I, I found that it is because uh, they are very reluctant to their work like we uh, for example uh, they were saying that they we have experience of plus 30 years and uh, uh, how for how we come uh, we we are not using gloves since 30 years and now we are not uh, uh, we are safe still safe so that is the reason uh, and with the low knowledge and inad inadequate attitude and practices, there uh, need to be a intensive IEC strategies that is information education and communication and BCC targeted towards the ado adopting health behaviors among the press workers. So these are the recommendation and policy consideration uh, as the knowledge is low. The attitude and practices were even lower than appropriate, uh, appropriate uh, attitude and practice. This need to be, uh, as I said, this need to be increasingly followed through intensive uh, IEC and BCC. Uh, predominantly need to increase the awareness about the legal acts and provision available for their workers. They, are, they were like, they were nil about it. Uh, and need to conduct a multi-centric study with a larger sample to do a qualitative research. That is very important. Uh, these are few limitations of my study. The generalizability of the study finding is low uh, because I choose a very small part of the uh, area, uh, India. Uh, please conclude. Please conclude. Yeah. Uh, and convenient sampling is uh, like uh, uh, it is a limitation of my study. Uh, and the main limitation is due to the assessment of knowledge and practice by self-reporting uh, uh, and participant may tend to provide a positive response due to social disability bias. That is the main important thing. So these are my references. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. So uh, may we have a question and answer session? Yeah, one question please. Only one question. We yes, can sir. Have. Outcomes of what? What are the outcomes you found? You said that the 91% had some particular characteristic, right? Mm -hmm. so what are the social development factors that you think on that? Which are bigger than that? So, so, so age versus gender versus mm -hmm. uh, what's the outcome of what? The main social demographic factors which were affecting was monthly income. Uh, so, so all the statistically significant is my question. So suppose you found a, a person who's earning less than 5,000 mm -hmm. versus a person earning more than 10,000. Was there a statistical difference? The knowledge levels or the attitude levels of whatever you're saying, these two groups. Yes, definitely there was a significant. So what does it mean that? I didn't know. I didn't show the statistical part, I'm so sorry. Yeah. That's important when you make a yes. presentation. You have to show us what your, what your values are. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yes, yeah, you're welcome. Thank you.